Shalom and welcome to The Bible Comes to Life. Join us as we explore the stories of the Bible and experience them where they actually happen in the land of Israel. I'm Omer Eshel, Director of the Israel Government Tourist Office, Midwest Region, and your host. Today, we will visit one of the most important and significant sites in Israel for both Christians and Jews, the Mount of Olives. The Mount of Olives is mentioned for the first time in 2 Samuel, when David flees from his son Absalom. We read in chapter 15, verse 30, so David went up by the ascent of Mount of Olives. He wept as he went up, and he had his head covered and went barefoot. And all the people who were with him covered their heads and went up, weeping as they went up. The Mount of Olives is located in the east side of Jerusalem, overlooking the city. The view from the mountain was the first view of the city that every pilgrim coming from the east would have seen. In the Jewish tradition, the Mount of Olives is the place of the resurrection of the dead. As we read in Zechariah 14.4, And in that day, his feet will stand on the Mount of Olives, which faces Jerusalem on the east. And the Mount of Olives shall be split in two, from east to west, making a very large valley. Half of the mountain shall move towards the north, and half of it towards the south. Accordingly, the Mount of Olives is one of the most sacred places in Judaism. The cemetery there is the largest and oldest Jewish cemetery in the world. You will find tombs here from 3000 BCE alongside tombs from today. It's considered a great honor to be buried at the Mount of Olives, as those buried there are believed to be the first to be resurrected. This prophecy of the coming of the Messiah brings us to the New Testament, in which we read that Jesus' final days started on the Mount of Olives, which fulfill this prophecy. Along the side of the mountain, we find sites that mark events from the last days of Jesus. One of them is Dominus Flevit, the place where Jesus wept for the faith of Jerusalem in Luke 19, verse 31. Now, as he drew near, he saw the city and wept over it, saying, If you had known, even you, especially in this your day, the things that make for your peace, but now, they are hidden from your eyes. For days will come upon you when your enemies will build an embankment around you, surround you and close you in every side, and level you and your children within you to the ground. The church that stands on the side today is shaped like a tear in reference to Jesus weeping. Another site, and probably one of the most amazing places in all of Jerusalem, is the Garden of Gethsemane. Gethsemane is a grove of olive trees situated on the lower slopes of the mountain. In Hebrew, it is called Gat Shmanim, meaning the place where olive oil is made. This is the same garden where Jesus prayed his last prayers. As it says in Matthew 26, verse 36, then Jesus came with them to a place called Gethsemane. And he said to the disciples, sit here while I go and pray over there. And the most amazing thing about it is that when you visit today, some of the olive trees you see are 2,000 years old, meaning that they are probably the same olive trees that were there when Jesus was there. These trees witness that fateful day and heard that prayer of Jesus. Today, when you visit the Garden of Gethsemane, you can touch the same trees that Jesus touched and connect with your faith. Pray to the Lord the same as Jesus did. Only in Israel will the Bible comes to life. 